obviously you'll never see a filter like the one down the stair. The steel in the filter would have been good steel because the filters you buy nowadays will not be the same steel. You had what's called a nozzle plate. I still got a nozzle plate at the bottom of the filtration system underneath your sand. If it had been laterals, that's a cheaper version a good filtration system. The modern day ones, the laterals in them have pea gravel under it, which is a dead spot, so you breed bacteria. So this type's quite a good one. What I was looking at, you had a hole in the boat, my filter shell, it wasn't there before. No. The pumps get serviced. I don't know the last time they were serviced, but they get serviced. So it means they've been more efficient. So I'm wondering whether the bigger pressure of water than through the filter blew a hole in the boat. I don't know. But we'll find out when the welders come in. Right, what we're doing is we're taking the old cast pipe out. Obviously because the internals of the cast pipe have a soft water scaling which reduces the diameter. So we're putting in plastic pipe where it's, you're not reducing the diameter, it'll stay the same. But what you've got is all the rest of your pipe works cast. And that'll be three inch, it's three inch cast pipe, but it'll probably be doing to like two inch inside. So what we've been doing with them is get them to lift the calcium level using calcium flake. This will actually burn off all the soft water scaling and it'll take it right back to the cast pipe and it'll be a protective coating. But they've got to do that for about 18 months to a year, keep it above 300. So we're bringing the thing up to date be using proper monitoring equipment so that your chemicals, your chlorine, your CO2 are getting fed in. Yet there's nobody having to do anything. With a salt chlorinator, it's now become one of the safest plant rooms in Scotland. For its age, it's fantastic. You know, it's, the pool's actually hard in water. We don't lose any water. They've got to be careful filling and emptying the pool. There is a procedure laid down. You're only allowed to roughly take about 18 inches a day out the pool when you're emptying it. It's to do with pressure. You know, if you take it out too fast, the wash can collapse and the tiles can off water. And it's the same when you're filling it. You only fill it 18 inches a day. It's to do with temperature because your walls will probably be very warm, but the water coming in will be freezing. So that's why you've got to take it nice and easy so that everything's no pop and your tiles only coming off and all that type of thing. You get people go, ah, oh, we can empty it in an hour. But we're not supposed to. Well, the problems with the filters were there was uh, various areas where, um, the, you know, produced holes, uh, pure and simply because of the age of the filter, um, you know, rusting and, uh, you know, with the sand, but it being a, a, a sand filled uh, filter uh, with the sand rubbing against the actual parent metal. Well, the repairs um, on the body, on the shell of the, 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 the filter, um, on three areas uh, and one underneath, which is the inlet pipe. Uh, where it was very difficult to uh, 
repair because of the space between the actual dished end of the, the filter to the, to the floor. What we've done was, first of all, you know, it was uh, six millimetre uh, thick plates that was uh, tack welded and then eventually welded onto the, to the filter tanks. Um, but before we actually attach these plates, we've got to dress the area down. What we did have the uh, first, uh, very first patch that we, we put on was that we were still, we were still getting uh, egress of water. Um, so once that was eradicated, it became a lot more easier to, to, to weld. My belief is, I mean, if you look at the shipyards, especially around Glasgow, um, you know, way back then, most of the, the ships were riveted Together there is footage, old footage that you can see in the archives. Uh, you know, welding, I don't know exactly when, but I would say probably the, the 30s. What we do is we purge the filter media. When you backwash a filter, you take all the dirt out. Purging it, you take all the grease, body fats, after filter media, so it ends up with new again. They renew the filter media every 10 years. I can't understand that because the filter media is millions of years old. So how come after 10 years it suddenly <laughs> it's went defunct, you know? We stopped the filtration, we add a chemical to the filter and we let it sit for as long as we can. Then we backwash it all out and by that time it's burnt half. All the grease on the filter media. So it's be back to normal. Now, depending on the speed and the flow rates that we do this at, we can actually take out some very small particles from the pool. So we draw the water from the deep end of the pool down through the pumps and we push it out through the, the sand filter. So the water comes into the filter at the top of the filter. It comes in dirty as it pushes down through the sand. The sand traps the small particles of dirt but allows the clean water to flow down where it's collected at the bottom and basically passed back into the swimming pool. Now, a filter can only hold so much dirt, so when the filter starts to get dirty, we will notice that the pressure at the top of the filter increases and at a certain pressure, we would have to do what we call a backwash. This is the way in which we clean the filter. So when we're doing a backwash, we would reverse the flow of water through the filter so the water now comes in at the bottom of the filter, pushes up and if you get it at the right flow, again it lifts the dirt off the sand and we push it down to drain. Um, this cleans up the sand, removing about 99.9% .9 of the contamination within the sand. We can't get rid of everything during a backwash but it gets rid of the vast majority leaving as a nice clean filter to start back up again the following morning. We get the water, I reckon it's about 50 times better than the water coming out of your tap. Because it's got to be because of all the things that happen in the pool, or greases and all the rest of it. So you've got to get the water spot on. If everything is done, and if the welding of that filter cells are right, I don't see any reason why you don't get at least 10 years out of it. At least 10 years.